Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm starting off today on Easter Day, beautiful, blessful Sunday, Resurrection Day, and this is going to be my first DIY for 2024 for April. And here is some paints that I got right here from Walmart. Most of these is barely almost anything in there, so I did add a little bit of water. These will be some colors that I'm using, but the primary color for my shelf is going to be this matte finish chalk paint that I did purchase and pick up from Dollar General. I'm going to be honest, it's not exactly the same as the one from Walmart, but it does work as long as these colors are added to it and you will see and understand the style and type of um, painting that I'm going to be doing for my shelf. Now this is an older little bookcase that I have. I had it first in my living room and then I decided to put it in my kitchen. My color scheme for my kitchen is basically brown, a light tan, white and black. So I did take the shelves off. They are right there on the sink. So I'm going to first start off with putting the white. It doesn't stick like a matte finished chalk paint from Walmart, but that is the reason why I will be adding some black and some brown and possibly gray to go on the shelf. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. You guys see what I mean by it is like, not like the matte chalk paint from Walmart where it just sticks. It kind of looks like it is mixed in with acrylic paint. So, but just trust the process. It will get better. It's just kind of like coating this on, letting it dry for a little bit and then going with the second coat. And then I will be adding the other paints, but it'll look beautiful when I'm finished. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this side done. second coat and while I'm adding the second coat to this um, I'll be adding the colors and getting those mixed in together I did have the fan on it's right here in front of me in the kitchen drying it so we're gonna go ahead and start this process
Okay, you guys, this is the second shelf. The first one was just a little bit too dark for me. So I did wipe everything off, which is a little bit of time consuming, but that's okay. I wiped it off and now I had layered it with the first layer of white paint. So I'm letting it dry. Well, I turned the fan off. I did have the fan on. But this is how the second one came out, and I think this is beautiful. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to try to mimic as best as I could for the very first one, but it's not going to come out like this one because, I mean, everything that you paint is not going to be the same. But so now we are going to go ahead and put this in front of the fan. This is completely finished, and now we just have to work on getting the rest of the bookcase finished. So here is how the second one came out. So now I'm going to set it by the next one and show you both of them side by side and see how well I did. <laughs> okay, so the one on your right is the very first one that I showed you guys and I completely messed up on that one. So I read, redid it. And then this is the second one. And you guys can see there's more darker tones and the streaks are darker on the second one compared to the first one. But that's okay though they still turned out beautiful so now let's go ahead and finish this bookcase Okay, so far so good. I am loving it, you guys. Please do not mind the back part of it. This right here, I believe I'm going to either take it off and paint it by its own and then put it back on here or just wait till this is completely dry and then paint that um, the same style and color as the other ones. But so far, this is how it turned out. If you guys can see my vision, leave the comment down below. But this is how it looks. Um, the only thing left I have is on the outside part, sides, and then the top part, and we are finished.
right, you guys, this is how it turned out. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This picture frame I had, it was very old um, into this little style of antique looking. So I went ahead and took a couple pictures out of my new uh, cookbooks and just added them. This one was a little bit smaller, so I added the background in there. Then the floral I had, I just put that in this little bitty box vase. Um, here are some of my cookbooks. <laughs> I need plenty of more. Then we have our little pretzels and marshmallows. My little handheld mixer is down there. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put over here. I might just leave it blank. And then I'm also trying to figure out what I'm gonna put down here in this metal basket that I did purchase about two years ago from Dollar General. So. I think it all turned out very beautiful. Well, you guys, leave me a comment down below and tell me how I did. Until the next video, take care, stay positive, God bless, and happy Easter. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, you guys.